You alright, monkey? Mm. Come here. Oh. Hey guys, welcome back to the Sullivan family. It is Friday. Uh, we're just having a coffee a minute. I've uh, literally just got back from the school run. So it's about, well, it's 10 o'clock now. When did it get to 10 o'clock? Exactly, that's what I mean, it's too hot. Exactly. Too hot? Yeah. Mine's not. Yeah. I've got milk in mine. Yeah. So mine's not too hot. When did I get to tell? What have I been doing for half an hour? I don't know. I don't know. What have I been doing? I don't know. Uh, yeah, so uh, school run's done. Uh, I am going to be going into Elgin in a minute to go to the bank, which I didn't manage to get to do, get to do yesterday. So I'm going to be doing the bank today. Need to go in there. Need to go to the post office because you need to post off stuff. Uh, so I'm going to do that for Zoe in a minute. Uh, what are you planning to do today? Stuff. Just stuff? The girls got dancing this afternoon. Dancing. Um, I need to go to Home Bargains actually as well. I've got orders to do. I've got computer stuff to do. What are you doing? I've got to clean the bathroom in a minute. <laughs> it's Jolly it's your favourite job. Come on, you I know it's your favourite job. I don't mind. I do need to quickly. So it's fine. Okay. I'm just going to show you in it. So we've got Manny's in fixing our fence. Well, Can you see that? But they've put all the posts in so far. So all the posts are in because uh, the fence was nearly falling down. So the posts are in, and we're going to have a nice new fence. So that's the start. The start of the the spring clean tidy up. Spring clean tidy up, for, especially for the garden. I've got we we were talking yesterday, weren't we? We've got loads of ideas of. Um, what we could do, what we need to do in the garden. Sorry, we're both looking at the garden. What we could, what we need to do in the garden. The shed needs a repair. Maybe, might even look at replacing the shed at some point. Maybe. Sheds are like expensive. Are they? How much are sheds these days? I don't know. Or maybe I'll just repair it. Yeah, They're repair quite expensive it. Re you've got up all the floor redo, and everything as well. Redo the roof and that. Yeah. Redo the roof and all that kind of stuff. So we we're looking at it yesterday, and now that the new fence is going up, it's kind of given us a motivation a to good job. yeah they have I mean, done a really good job day, the whole thing's down really good job in all the posts for the new one i mean i know that's their job but they've done a good job had a good natter as well good chat it's all leveled out all nice and it's all nice and neat because i like good to job. have a chat i'm probably that bloke oh he's coming again for another chat you know what i mean that bloke but had a good chat so they're really friendly done a really good job um but it's made us think about the garden. It's also made us think about vlogs going forward as well. The spring we talked about before about the spring cleaning vlogs and stuff. So we really, as as the weather is getting better, we're we're getting more in the mood now for. for the weather is out. not better today. Not today. I am not in the mood for going out. Okay, today. yesterday. So yesterday I was in, on the school run in my t-shirt, and in fact I started the vlog at eight o'clock in the morning in my t-shirt. Yeah, I was still working. Today, today. It's cold. St coming down from the arctic again a little bit see it's you should never cold. it's not it's not, yeah i think I'm, yes but i'm trying to manifest it i'm trying to manifest scotland you can't manifest I'm trying it. to manifest the sunshine i'm also trying to manifest other things like a youtube play button and stuff but um my mind gets a bit full of stuff because the thing is with, with manifesting is you've got to be focused on one thing yeah that's not yeah work, and works. in our house you try and focus for one thing. It's like oh, I've done away or whatever. Yeah, it's it's like right. I can't oh, I can't really focus on that right now. And then there's something else to do. Yeah. Just start manifesting about my YouTube play button. It's keeping now or up. Yeah. So um, yeah, we are trying to manifest though, and trying to manifest sunshine. <laughs> I don't know where I was going with that whole conversation. I'm sorry about that. I'm just blethering. Uh, yeah, so I'm going to head off to Elgin in a minute uh, and do a few bits with the little ones. I'll enjoy that. I might even get go to Ashes. Don't I might do. It's Friday, isn't it? It's been a good week, it's Friday. Uh, right, so I shall leave you to do what you're doing. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I shall go and do what I'm doing. Okay, stop yawning. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Are you alright there? I'm so tired. <sighs> early mornings just too much all this week we've had a little certain somebody she keeps waking up at about four four going hug hug, hug. but then she comes in the bed and oh, then she did get back to sleep this morning for a I little bit she's, she's kind of got to that she's having that age where she's she keeps waking up with like 
not night terrors as such because they're not as bad as insecurity they. yeah because we've had, we've had that, one with night terrors before and they're just terrifying on them they just start screaming in the middle of the night for no reason but she she does she started waking up quite a lot lately just needing reaching out for people hasn't she so she's well, obviously just going through that like separation anxiety bit well i i woke up thought thinking i was getting strangled and what i had was a baby's head on my on my throat and then you had her feet on my head on your head <laughs> she just stretched herself out between the two of us bless her she was asleep yeah fast asleep <laughs> there we go right i tell you what i'm going to drink my coffee and then i'm going to go to elgin because time is ticking and go. the next thing it'll be lunchtime and i'll be picking the kids up from school so um because the always the, the high school kids finish early on a friday because they do they do a later all through the week don't they should we get on yeah let's go let's go Okay guys, we're in Elgin, we've parked up, we've got to go to the post office, we've got to go to the bank, and we've got to go to Ashes. We've got to go to Ashes because it's Friday, and why not? Yeah? Do you fancy a no-nut? Do you want a donut today? Hmm, no. donut. My thoughts precisely. Okay, right Joseph, you stick, stay close to me because we're going on the main road now, okay? Post office, Jojo. Yeah. You see the red sign? Yeah. Oh. Awesome. Are we here, Joseph? Right, guys, we've done the post office. The parcel is posted. So the next place we're going. Can you see it yet? The next place we're going is the bank. Can you see the bank yet? It's a white sign with a blue cross and some dots. See if you can see it. White sign, blue cross, and some dots. Can we see it? <laughs> We're getting warmer. We're getting warmer. Can you see it yet? Can you see it? Yes. And it says Bank of Scotland. Yes. Have you found it? Yes. Good boy. Good spot. <laughs> We found it! Cheese. Cheese. We're just waiting. Yeah. We're just waiting for a minute. Aren't we? Just waiting. <laughs> Is Joseph doing a funny face? <laughs> Is Joseph doing a funny face? Yeah. Right, that's the bank sorted out. That's done, isn't it? Is that the bank done? Okay. Next thing is we're gonna go and get a donut. Donut? Or two, two. aren't we? Gonna go get a donut? Donut. Donut. Right, Joseph, where are we going now? Donut. Donut. <laughs> <laughs> Joseph, yep. where are we going now? Donut. Donut. <laughs> 
you remember where the donut shop is? It's not that way. It's down here. Okay, can you see where the um, baker's is? Can you see where the baker's is? I can see where it is. It's right here. Ashers. This is it. This is it. No, it's this one. Right guys, donut support. We are done. We are done in Elgin. We're gonna head home now. Yeah. Should we go home? Yeah. Where's Flo? Florence, yeah. should we go home? Oh. Home. Right, guys, we're going home. Okay guys, it is literally 20 past two. Uh, got back from Elgin, had a quick chat with Zoe, got the lunch done had lunch and then it was literally time to go and pick the high school kids up from high school. That's Charlotte, Isabel, Noah and Eva, excuse me. Just finishing my coffee before I go out again. Um, dropped Charlotte off into Hopeman because she's with, she's staying at a friend's this afternoon, this evening. Um, Noah's gonna stay home, Noah and Elizabeth, Elizabeth's upstairs as well, Noah, Noah and Elizabeth are gonna stay home and Eva are gonna stay home with, um, Joseph, I'm going to take Flo with me in a minute. I'm just, just, I'm just working this all out of my head. I'm going to take Florence with me in a minute because obviously it's the school run, uh, and then it's and then again it's Friday sweetie treat day, which the kids absolutely love. So they love their Friday sweetie treat day when we go into the shop and go and get them some sweets and stuff like that. Um, Zoe's gone out, so she's gone over to dance with Isabel and Olivia. She's then going to go to Home Bargains. Right, there's a lot of information in it. So she's going to go to her home home bargains, uh, yeah, and then come back, and then we're going to do tea tea time. So what I'll do is I'll take them to the shop, and then I'll let them have a play outside, and I'll show you our new fence as well because it's looking pretty smart. And it's it's to, for me this is the start now of Operation. Let's sort the garden out for for spring summer. You know. Let's give it that's kind of the catalyst i'll show you after, afterwards when i've picked them up from school done all that stuff they're out playing on the trampoline or whatever i'll um i'll i'll, I'll uh, show you the new fence because it looks really really great it really Daddy. does are you gonna come with me in a minute you're gonna come with me yeah to the shop pick the girls up yeah pick toby up yeah all right in a minute we're gonna go in five minutes Daddy's gonna just drink my coffee okay and then we'll go okay it's five minutes five minutes Five, five minutes. <laughs> she probably wants me to go dancing. She loves the dance. Danny Go, is it? Danny Go on YouTube, this dance thing. She loves it. Right, I'm gonna finish my coffee. I'm gonna get get Flo in the car. I'm gonna go and pick them up from school. Do the normal Friday thing, which is go to the shop, come home, blah, blah. Do the rest that I've just said. See you in a moment. Good afternoon, guys. I'm in the car. I'm waiting for the girls. They're at dancing, so I'm just sat waiting at the moment. I have coffee. They were three for three pounds in Tesco's, which I thought was a bargain, because um, they're normally like two pound each. So I brought one with me today. Otherwise I end up going to the shop and getting a drink because I always forget to bring one with me. So I bought that with me to save myself some some pennies that I don't need to spend. Um, it's Friday. It's Friday. The week, I don't even, it's just, I don't even know what's going on this week. Honestly, it's just been one of those weeks where time feels like it's just running away with you. Um, it's gone like, just like that. The week has gone, but I'm glad it's Friday. I'm hoping that this weekend it's going to be okay weather. It's a bit grim now. It's, it was raining a minute ago, but it stopped now. Um, yeah. Obviously, we had World Book Day yesterday. And um, 
the kids went dressed up. Well, not all of them did. Um, Agnes was a dragon, toothless. Leah was Barbie. Erin just wanted to go in her own clothes. I quite like the fact that um, the school did both. You know, they didn't have to dress up if they didn't want to. Toby hates dressing up, like hates dressing up. I think there's only ever been like two occasions when he's actually joined in with dressing up. He just does not like dressing up at all. So it's quite nice that he could just wear his own stuff um, and not have to worry about dressing up. I mean, we've never kind of forced him into dressing up, don't don't get me wrong, but he's just not, he's never liked it. Even when he was little, he didn't really like it. And I think, like I said, I think there was one Halloween that he actually did dress up. And then I remember another time, I think it was him. It might've been Noah. I think it was Toby. Um, but other than that, he's just not interested at all. Really doesn't like it dressing up. I don't know why. I think he's, I don't know, he just doesn't. So yeah, it's just been a really, really hectic week this week. I don't even know where the time's gone. I don't even know what I've got done. Not much, really. Um, I feel like I've been sat at my desk for most of the week, to be honest, which is, you know, sometimes a necessity, I suppose. But still, next week is a new week. I'm actually gonna try and get on with some of my spring cleaning next week. Try. I did start last week and this week we're just going to put it down to just you know whatever and we'll start again next week i really need to do the boys room the boys beds but i really need to get in the girls room i've done i keep doing their beds but i never get around to actually reorganizing and tidy in their room and um it's a bit of a mess to be honest barbie's everywhere they are quite good they do help tidy up um they, they really do but equally there's just stuff it's not a massive room, as you know. Um, I mean, it's does them fine. But, yeah, we need to have a bit of a reorganise. We've got some shelves that need to go up in there as well. We need to kind of start um, focusing on getting some of the stuff done in the house that we haven't yet got done. Um, moving a house is just nuts, isn't it? Because you kind of move in and try and get everything smashed and done. And, you know, once you've kind of broken the back of unpacking and all of that sort of stuff, you're so knackered that the rest of it just kind of goes, oh, I'll do that later. And, you know, all the little little bits and pieces that are left. Like, we still haven't put pictures up and stuff like that. And then life just comes along and takes over. And um, you just don't get a chance to do all these things. And then, obviously, we have Christmas. And then we're in the, in the, the new year. And just... But now, I think we need to kind of try and get all the jobs done that um we haven't quite yet got done we still haven't done the downstairs bathroom yet um but yeah the girls have got shelves to go up in their room and they've got some shelves that we bought from ikea ages ago that need painting um we haven't done just little book like little bookshelves um they need painting and putting up so there's lots of little bits and pieces that we need to do I think Charlotte has a shelf that needs to go up. Lizzie's got some shelves that need to go up. Um, Eva doesn't want a shelf anymore. The boys' shelves are up. There's two, either two or three shelves to go up in the little one's room. The girls. I can't remember. I think there's two. And then there's the little bookshelves that are going in there, sort of bed spaces. Um, so, yeah, there's lots of things, lots of things to catch up on. Um... I'll probably do a video actually. I might do a YouTube video when um, when I'm painting all the shelves, the ones that we've bought from Ikea, because they're not typically shelves, they're actually spice racks. But I saw lots of hacks online of how to turn them into a, a shelf for like a little bookshelf. Because they've only got a little bit of space on the wall because obviously they're in a triple bunk. Um, but yeah, I think I'll, I think I'll film that because that might be quite good. I'm going to try and film as much of it as I can actually of everything we're doing just to... Uh, so you guys can follow along. Maybe maybe motivate me a bit and maybe motivate other people too, if they need motivating. But it will motivate me knowing that um, you know, maybe I'll put in 100% instead. Oh, sometimes you just, you need to kind of take a little bit of time, don't you, to look at things and go, I'm gonna, now we need to start doing it again. Um, winter's always difficult, isn't it? Winter's always, I love winter. 
but I also love when winter is over. Does that make sense? You know, I like it when we're coming up to Christmas and everything's nice and Christmassy and festive and everyone's happy and it's all exciting. And then you come into January and some people, you know, I don't mind January because obviously we've got all the birthdays. So it's another, another exciting month. And then the beginning of February, we've obviously got Toby's birthday. But come the end of February, beginning of March, you know, you're not quite sure if the nice weather that arrives is going to stay, whether you're going to get snow because we've had snow before in March and everyone's starting to get a little bit tired of being cold and and um and the sun never coming out and you kind of just want the better weather to arrive so that you can get outside and start doing all the nice things like that again um and we have been quite lucky lately with the weather i must admit it has been quite nice the kids have at least been able to get outside but um yeah i could do with I could do with proper spring proper spring arriving now obviously next month so april we have florence's birthday and elizabeth's birthday um and the easter holidays because easter is like really early this year but the easter holidays are the beginning of april so yeah that would be good It'd be nice to have everybody home for a couple of weeks we've got granny and granda coming to visit too so that'd be fun um yeah and flo's birthday falls in the holidays lizzie's is after the holidays but flo's birthday falls in the holidays so we've still got to get her birthday stuff sorted and I think we're going to stay at home for her birthday. I think. I think we might just do a garden thing like we did last year. It's really difficult when they're tiny because anything that we do um, will kind of more be for everybody else if we go bowling or we go, you know, um, out for a meal or any of those things. That's kind of for everybody else rather than for her because she's she can't really do bowling and she doesn't really bother whether we go for a meal or not. So I'm thinking if we do a little garden um party fingers crossed the weather would be okay like we did last year for her first birthday and it was really really nice weather um i think she'd like that because she loves being outside in the garden um and plus you're at home aren't you she likes she's bumbling about at home and um running around in the garden that's her favorite things and the beach so yeah maybe we'll do that sure maybe we'll get a bouncy castle that'll be fun yeah that'll be fun we did that once for Eva's birthday on her. I think she was three and we got a bouncy castle, like a big one. We hired one. So maybe we'll do that again. Something to look into. Anyway, I am going to drink my coffee. I'm going to read some of my book because the girls bought me this for Christmas. Lizzie bought me this for Christmas actually, I think. And um, I've not read it yet. It's just been sat there because I never ever get a chance. I've got this one and I've got Kate Garraway's book and I haven't read either of them yet. And I really, really need to start because I really want to and I never get a chance. So I'm going to sit and start, start reading my book. So I'll see you in a minute. Right, don't forget you've got to get a sweetie for Joseph. So is that pretty nice? I don't think there is. Right, we're going to get squashies for Joseph, okay? Yeah. All right. I'll tell you what, I'll tell you what, we could, you know, come in tomorrow after swimming and get some flowers from Mummy, couldn't we? Put them back, darling, put them back. I'm not going to buy them today. Why don't we get these ones? Because it has roses in them. They look really nice, actually. Because they have roses. They do look really pretty, don't they? Yeah. Look at this one. I'll tell you what, maybe we'll come in tomorrow and um, pick some flowers up for mummy, yeah? Yeah. After swimming. Wait, Daddy, why don't we get these ones for her? I know, they're really pretty, aren't they? Not a bad idea, that. Yeah, not a bad idea. Well, right, come on then, let's go. This wants for energy. I didn't think there is pretty. I don't think there is. I think so. I don't think so. Where's Florence? Flo? I've got one. Why, what have you got? Fizzy sour wings. Okay, cool. Florence, have you got a lolly? You got a lolly? Good girl. Show us what you got. Okay, cool. Okay, good. Right, good. Let's pay then. Oh, we'll need some more dreamies. Right. right, what do you lot say? Thank you. Thank you. Best daddy in the world ever. Thank you so much. Best daddy in the world ever. Thank you. Thank you. No, no, you're welcome. No, you're welcome. No way, not Takis.
Let's go. Oh. You're not getting a coffee. Come on then, let's go. Flowers! <laughs> Are you munching in the bathroom, are you? Um, it's really cold. It's cold. Not really. I've done home bargains. So, we have got a hot chocolate tray at home. It's a bit messy. It's fine. It's very messy. It needs to clean. Hot chocolate, coffees, teas, etc., etc. We've decided we're going to do an Easter themed one. I've just been to home bargains. I just said that. Um, and they have got lots of like. Easter-y themed bits and some Mother's Day stuff as well so we picked up lots of little chocolate eggs and chocolate hearts and some Easter chick marshmallows so we're going to do an Easter themed hot chocolate tray um, Toby loves hot chocolates Noah will eat any marshmallow going so we've had to buy him some other ones oh yeah we'll have to get whipped cream another time yeah, um, okay. could get it the Kobe so yeah I also got some washing tablets. There isn't anything that exciting, guys. Some washing tablets. Polos. Polos for Olivia. Newspapers for Lizzie. Newspapers for Lizzie. The front art project not to read. Um, what should I get? Fish and chips. Can't get them anywhere else other than here and B&M. And the kids love them. Mezzies. What else we get? Toxic waste. They fell in there. Obviously fell in. Not for me. Oh, I only got these for snack. Oh, choco lollies. No. These are like the ones you get in Aldi. They're great. The kids love them. Obviously not Agnes, so she's got a special. Like, like she's got a little marshmallow lolly. They, they, they've literally got cream eggs and reduced 10 for 4. They do have cream eggs and reduced. They've got loads of stuff in there today. Um, what because I'm on a bit of a time limit and I don't want to go in and just spend random amounts of money just because. I do need to get some cleaning stuff at some point, so um, I'll go in there again for that. Hand wash, that's what else I got because it's so much cheaper in there than it is in the supermarkets. Um, so yeah, I'm done. I'm going home. Hopefully Ben will be back from school by now. Um, he probably won't. I don't think he is. He might not be. He it's not gone off in the Hopefully he will be by the time we get back. So I'll see you in a minute. fence brand new fence literally done it in a day and a half guys came in did an amazing job took all the old fence away absolutely amazing really really cool so that makes a real difference to the garden like a real difference to the garden already doesn't it that makes it look a hundred times better so like I said to you earlier in the vlog, this is now time for us to kind of think about how, ever, how else we want to improve the garden. Especially going into spring and summer now. But I'm really pleased. I'm really pleased with that. Yeah, it's really good. Anyway, uh, obviously picked the kids up from school. We've been to the shop and all that kind of stuff. Zoe's just come back as well with the girls. They're all back in the house. So it's literally a case of doing tea now. And then the bedtime routine and all the usual stuff. And then it's uh, Chinese night. I'm, uh, I'm dead pleased. Just freshens that bit up, doesn't it? And they've also the other thing they did was level off. They leveled off all the ground on the floor, tidied it all up, got rid of all the all the rubbish that was there. When I say rubbish, I mean like rubble and stuff. Fair. But yeah, I'm really really pleased with that.
Right, where's Mummy? Do you know where Mummy is? Uh, shopping. It's not shopping. Taking all the work. It's not always shopping. Do you know where she is? Picking all up. Picking what? No up. She's in the lounge. Oh. You were just in the lounge. Yeah? Oh. Just wait for Zoe a minute. Here she comes. You look like a Jedi. What? In a really comfy Jedi. robe. You're a mum Jedi. It's past six o'clock, which means I've got my jammers. It's past six o'clock, which means the mm. ones are going to bed in a minute. Jammers are on. We have two minutes. Although I did have my hoodie on in the middle of the day today because I was freezing. You did? Well, we're trying to save a bit of electric now. Because this, this house is like pure electric. There's no gas. So the, so the air source heat pump is, is the primary source of heating, Daddy, hot water, all that, all that sort of stuff. And um, we're on a key meter as well. It does kick out a lot of heat. It does. I'm gonna, I want to try and get the key meter Look, changed. Sure. Right. We're trying to save on electric a bit, aren't we? Mm -hmm. Boom, as it's near springtime now. Spring, yeah, spring. Kind of, I don't mind putting the heating on as much in the winter, but when it's sort of weather's getting better, exactly, I feel like I've got to turn it off. Exactly. Anyway, guys, that's it for Friday. It's the weekend, so I hope you're having a great weekend. Uh, Saturday tomorrow, obviously, uh, we're going to start with. Where have you gone? We're going to start with swimming. <laughs> there's no doubt of it, though. We're going to change it up it tomorrow. We're going to start with swimming. <laughs> It's swimming tomorrow. Well, for something obviously. different. Yeah. <laughs> and after, we're going to give Mummy something. That's Sunday. Flowers. That's Sunday. That's Sunday. Shush, shush. Oh. Shush, that was a secret. I'm sorry. Shush. It's all right, darling. I'm only winding you up. Shush, that's Sunday. That's Mother's Day on Sunday. Um, I went into Tesco's last night. And um, I was looking at the flowers because they've got a lot of nice bow face flowers in there. And Noah and Olivia, no, Noah and Isabel were with me. No, I said, oh, those flies are nice, aren't they? And he went, do you like them? I said, yeah, they're right. They're quite nice, aren't they? Oh, they were like um, really brightly coloured ones. You know, like, I don't know whether they, do they, I don't think they spray them, do they? Do they put them no, in something they... that makes them really, really bright? Yeah. He went, I'll buy them for you if you want. I was like, oh, bless him, he's so sweet. I said, no, you don't have to buy me flowers. <laughs> I do like flowers, but he is very sweet. He's very thoughtful. Noah. He's very thoughtful, no, he is. Takes after me, see. He bought Noah a present last uh, Noah, he bought Joseph a present. That's not. I wanted to buy him Joseph something. Lanky box merch. Didn't he? So he bought him some. So, so we, 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 uh, I chatted about the whole um, VR Lanky. headset thing. VR. Joseph's been a lot better and he started to understand. And Noah said to him, I'll get you a little toy. He bought him a little toy for doing so well, didn't he? Yeah. What about and, me? And, and I'm going to play a VR headset. How did he get it? didn't ask him to. He did it off his own back. Yeah, he did it off his own back. How did he get to play the VR headset? <laughs> you speak to no, it's got nothing to do with me. I am not having anything to do with that VR headset. Anyway, guys, that's it. Uh, Saturday tomorrow, let's see what happens. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Please hit the bell for notifications. Drop us a like. Don't forget our link tree in the video description below. And on our channel homepage for our Facebook, Instagram, the uh, charity homepage, and um, the Lemper Fox designs. And that just leaves me to say, have a great weekend, guys. Thanks for supporting us. Take care and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.